What is going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. It is D-Day. Literally seconds ago, I finished filming, filming the close of the last video setting up this sale. Today, we open. Everything is gonna be $10 each. I'll give you a brief overview if you did not watch the previous video. I do need to finish filling up this table, so I have to make this quick. We've got Austin and Allen rugs. All of this stuff here came from Lowe's as well as these really soft blankets. Those are probably gonna go pretty fast. We've got shoes here from Target. These I actually had listed on eBay for the last year and a half. This is the last bit of inventory that didn't sell. And we've got some other Target stuff down there, some Target apparel here, winter coats, $64.99 that came on a Target load more recently. We've got this awesome shirt, which I'm still kind of tempted to keep one. Um, what else? So we've got items from Target here. We've got a lot of Walgreens. Uh, these are two Walgreens palettes. Gives you an idea of uh, what we have to that effect. The outdoor pillows came from Lowe's. Uh, these I pulled from my eBay inventory. Uh, right there. Uh, nice gloves, but they just weren't moving. We had them listed for 10. Uh, hand sanitizer. This came from the truckload of Staples. Uh, in gallon quantities. Uh, these came out of Meyer. I think this is the only Meyer items that I have left. Um, sold most of it in the last sale. I just had those left over. We've got items here from Amazon. We've got items from Walmart, specifically the toys here. The toys are gonna do really well. If you're watching this in the future, it's currently October 22nd. So people are starting to think about Christmas. And I think this stuff is gonna do really, really well we got lego sets little ones and we got a bigger one here um over here we got these two tables are mostly walgreens although these came out of staples target target and then more walmart here this came from the melissa and doug load these came out of target some more walmart I think these are gonna be hot sellers at 10 bucks. I think this wall will be pretty cleared out in the first hour. Uh, printer toner, speakers, mugs, and then, oh, we got some, some more light fixtures, weighted blankets. They're returns, so a lot of them are missing packaging, but I think they'll still do well. Uh, a little bit more, so let's see, we've got staples, Walgreens. I should put the lids on these, people aren't gonna see those. I know this is just such an exciting video. And then over here, we've got mostly all Amazon stuff. Uh, some exceptions, like these came out of Shopco. We had them listed on eBay for about a year, it didn't sell. I think they're expired now, uh, April of 19. So they must have just expired when we pulled them out of Shopco because I think that was May of 19. <clears throat> So this is the sale. We've got cash registers here. This one is card only. It's run more, more as a backup. This is the main register here. Um, we are doing everything, here you go. 10 bucks each, unless marked cheaper. We don't have anything marked cheaper than 10 this time, but you never know if there's something in here that has a clearance tag from a store. We do honor that price. Um, so anyways, that is our sale and, uh, I have to continue finishing up here because it is currently 625. We open in an hour and a half. So that is it. Uh, I mean, the video is not over. I'm tired. If you couldn't tell, I'm excited though. We should do really well. All right. Just parked the cars in the back of the building to clear space in the parking lot. Sun is gonna be coming up soon. It's a little before 7 a.m. And what I do every morning at 7 a.m. on the Wisconsin Liquidation Center page, is I post a video. I do a quick live video showing what's on the tables. That way people know exactly what to expect. I can kind of sell a couple of items that we've got a lot of. Put some more candy out. I've got like eight cases, eight or nine cases of this. And I saw, now this is by weight. It's four pounds. The ones I saw at Walmart that were 20 had like 250 pieces. 
it didn't i didn't notice the weight i saw the piece count this one doesn't have a piece count so i wonder if it says well, i really don't care enough to research so if there are 20 bucks there maybe we'll sell some of these for 10 especially with halloween uh next week we've got these hey we got a rabbit here if you remember these i'm probably ultimately taking a loss on these i paid five bucks a piece for them and i was supposed to sell them on the last sale but we completely forgot about them we put like two cases out in the beginning and the other like 10 cases just sat in the back. So hopefully we'll remember to sell through them in this sale. And then this corner here, those are from Staples and just a little more Walgreens stuff. I feel like these would be worthwhile for 10 bucks, especially as a Christmas gift. This would be a great Christmas gift for like an older person who, you know, uh, oh, it's for children. <laughs> Oops. Okay, for a child maybe. But it sounds like it's, oh, it's stories. I thought you'd look up Bible verses on it. Never mind. I mean, it's great for children because it's intended for children. But they make things like this. You know, you can get an app on your phone that has the whole Bible, but they make things like that, which are great for older people. You know, our parents' generation who doesn't, don't know how to use a smartphone, doesn't. Oh, we've got a little space here on the table that I missed. one of the nice things about having these pallets up and one of the main reasons see initially the person that i hired i hired a buddy of mine to help out during the sale um he told me uh tuesday night like 10 p.m tuesday night that his kids daycare closed for two weeks and he's not able to come in thursday today opening day so i thought it was gonna be me and tim well he was able to find someone to take his kids that day so he's in now but the idea was if it was just me and tim one of us is going to be working this one's going to be restocking it usually takes two people to restock so at the very least when there's a bit of a lull items from here can be transferred on the tables by whoever's running the register i think these look so nice i don't know if i showed these these came out of dress barn i've been sitting on them for a while they do have a hole i think i did show them right about here if i move that over to pass the cords through but i don't want to drill a hole in this until i know for sure we're going to keep using them i think i did show that but i just showed it again what are you going to do about it huh you want to fight about it all right i have to do my video because it is hold on let me check the time 652 so i got a couple of minutes maybe i'll get this fixed up it's all connected it just it's a mess we use this as a time clock that's why it's flipped around much nicer now you don't see a bunch of cords not much we can do about this i mean i can take this punch out out and run it down here if i really wanted to but no time for that i also ran this cord down here so it comes up right here you know you see a cord coming across there it looks much nicer i also would like to have a thing that says this register is closed on the back so we can flip that around and then we've got this one here asking people to try to use exact change because we do have, we are short on change and the banks aren't giving us much. I think that looks so much nicer. And when you're coming in the door, that's your view. And then over here, you know, it is wide open here, but it looks a lot emptier coming in the door now. All right, I have to do my video. So I just put out the big letterboard sign and I saw the part of the car that's been out since six-ish this morning better view now that the sun's out it's a black chrysler 200 basically the exact same car as mine like it looks just like mine the guy's waiting at the door he's wearing a black peacoat which looks just like mine i'm pretty sure i'm also outside the door so that's interesting all right i gotta get money in the cash register and we'll be ready to go so slow i think we're about i think we're about 1700 uh, so far, about three hours in, very slow. I think a lot of people are thinking there's gonna be a long line like the last couple days of the last sale because, hold on, this is gonna try and connect to Bluetooth. Uh, because I've gotten like a thousand messages. How long is the line? It's cold out, it's windy. It's supposed to rain like three inches of rain, which should start in about an hour. I think people just don't want to wait in line. So I think that's one of the reasons we're slow. So the line meant a lot of sales in the last one, but not so much this one. I also, 
So I decided to, uh, my cashier told me, why don't we print one of the flyers? I don't know if I mentioned, the flyers were supposed to be here Tuesday. I went in yesterday to pick them up because they never contacted me and they said, yeah, they're not here. They said, uh, finally emailed me later yesterday, said they'll be here tomorrow, today. Uh, we'll call you as soon as they're in. So I told her, you know, our sale starts tomorrow, today, and, um, you know, we need them the second they're in, call me, and I will come pick them up. So I am going to pick them up now, but anyways, I decided to print one, just so we have something on display showing the dates. And right after, like moments after I printed it, before I even brought it to the front, they called me. So at least we'll have those. I'm going to get them right now. So I got these done at, let me focus here, Sinorama in Green Bay, not too far from the warehouse. They're actually in this building. I considered putting my store in here uh, several years ago, but it was completely empty inside. Would, comp would need a full redo. But yeah, you know, this one was late, but I've done a lot of print with them, never had any issues. So there we go. Looks nice. I put the spider webs on it and I am not a graphic designer and I made these myself. And then on the back, I've got information about our wholesaling uh, for anybody who might be interested. So it was kind of, I don't know what to put on the back. Let me just throw this together. But I think it looks nice. Well, it's 120. I'm gonna go outside. I don't wanna get a copyright claim on this. This music in the background. Right. Sitting on the heated seats. So anyways, it's 120. It's a rough day. We're only at 3500. I was really hoping for like 20 grand today. We're at 3500. Over halfway through the day. It's probably gonna be like a four or five thousand dollar day. There is not a single person in there right now. It's just been so slow. The rain is probably a contributing factor. And it's gonna be, of the first four days, it's gonna be raining for three of them. And there's nothing you can do to plan it, you know. Ads are already out. Flyers are already printed. You have to do all that in advance. So it's not like we can, we can just look and say, oh, it's raining. Let's just push it back a week. So that, that's no fun. But rain shouldn't have made it this slow. And it wasn't even raining this morning. So I don't know why it's this slow. I don't know if it's because we have so many toys and people don't want toys. I would have thought that would be a home run given it that it's, you know, a couple months to Christmas. We still have like some of those school buses that are the uh, Supergirl school buses. They're like 50, 60 bucks in the store. We still have a bunch of those. I am thinking there's almost no question I'm gonna lose money on the, that truckload of toys, but if it brings people in the door, it's still worthwhile. I don't know though. It's uh, definitely not thrilled about it and I don't know why it's so bad. The cold, it is cold, but we've had sales in February, in December, and where it's much colder, that does never stop people before. Rain has. Rain made one of our sale days pretty rough in the last sale. Uh, it was a five dollar day, and we still did like seven, eight thousand dollars. So I really don't know what the cause is. I'm not thrilled about it. And if it continues being this bad, I could lose ten to twenty grand in this sale. Think about that for a minute. You can go and buy a pretty nice brand new car for that price, or you can spend weeks working. In the last two of those weeks working what 80 90 hours a week which would you rather do and not get a car which would you rather do work or get a free car not not happy right now i'm really hoping things pick up but i don't think it's going to happen today one thing that i considered in a previous sale was doing like a press release to get on the news or doing some radio ads I think it's a little too late for that now, but the reason I stopped pursuing that is because with, um, you know, look how many customers we have going through. We, in the last sale, could not get any more customers in. We stayed open an extra hour on one of those days just so the people who were in line had a chance to get in. Customers weren't the, the weren't a problem. I couldn't have brought in more customers. My goal with this one was raising the average sale, the average ticket. 
Um, I, I don't know what it is. So I guess there's good and bad, but for any of you who think this business is easy and you can just go and make 30, 40 grand in a couple of weeks work, it's not always like that. I mean, it has been like that pretty consistently for me, but you have to spend a lot of money to get started. Remember, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, I have like $50,000 invested in this sale. I'm nervous, if you can't tell. Well, today sucked. We just finished up, 4,605 bucks. Mm. Also, had another thief. So, if you remember these jackets here, I walked out, Tim pointed out a lady who was wearing a jacket that sure looked just like, it looked identical to this, uh, she was wearing it. And, you know, we don't have any fitting rooms or anything, so I, it's pretty gutsy to put it on in the middle with someone standing right there, and Tim was standing right there, although Tim could have been in the back. So we didn't know if it was stolen or not. I looked at the thing here. First off, I didn't see any empty hangers here, and this is what they would look like. It would have been a, an identical hanger to that because it's um, it was case-packed. And then I looked in here, our hanger bin, there was only one. I know now there's two, one sold after that. There was only one. So there were three on the rack and one hanger. And Justin told me he did remember selling one to a woman that matched the description of this chick, young woman with dark hair. Obviously that's a lot of people. Uh, I match half of those things. Um, so anyways, I didn't know how many there were though initially. It is possible. He said it was several hours earlier. It's possible she could have bought it, left, came back later to see if there was more stuff. She was with a guy who looked kind of sketchy. You know, one of those guys that looks like he probably hasn't showered or washed his clothes in, like, ever. But, anyways, I mean, she didn't look sketchy at all. She just looked like a normal, typical person. Obviously, the people who look sketchy often aren't necessarily sketchy. People who don't look sketchy can very well be sketchy. But anyways, I had searched high and low looking for a hanger. I could not find the hanger anywhere. So I thought, okay, maybe they just came back. She bought it earlier, came back. Um, I went and actually looked at a video that I filmed earlier. It was either yesterday's video or this morning before we opened. Um, got to a point where you could see the jackets here and I zoomed in. There was clearly five jackets here, so one was missing. Pretty good odds it was stolen by that lady. It is possible that one of us could have sold it. You know, they could have, someone could have paid for it. One of us could have sold the extra one and forgotten about it. Here's the thing, though. We keep all hangers. It's our policy. We do not let customers leave with hangers. I suppose if they physically asked if they could keep it, we would let them have it. But who asks for one of those cheap hangers? Most people are like, oh yeah, no problem. We throw them away. Well, that's what they assume we do. We save them for the next sale. Anyways, if it sold, there would be another hanger in this bin and there's not. Pretty. So anyways, I don't have cameras in here. I've got these cameras, the ones that, they don't record con continuous video. They record uh, when they see motion, you know, specifically at night when no one's here, that's when we run them. I don't have the subscription where it's continuous video. And the main reason is because they're battery. The batteries would die very fast. We would need wired cameras for that. Um, I do have this one up here, um, which can record continuous video. I've never plugged it in. I always needed an extension cord and I could never. So anyways, um, I was quoted like three grand for a professional setup. They come in, they put a bunch of cameras and everything and they install them. And I don't know, like 50 bucks a month or something like that. And I'm really considering doing it. And the reason, and I know there's like Simply Safe and all those other ones, but I'd rather just have it done for me because they're going to need to go up high and drill into concrete and whatnot. The reason I'm really considering it, it's not about the cost because I doubt there was ever three thousand dollars worth of items stolen from here considering my cost 
Remember, I get this stuff really cheap. Although this sale, I do have a lot more invested in each item. Tim said there was only one of those left. There's three. Can you believe that? These are still left. Anyways, I can't believe how bad today was um, as far as sales. It was probably the one of the worst sales days I've ever had. Um, not the worst in numbers. I had one that was like 400 bucks back when I was doing dollar sales and I opened on a Sunday and didn't, uh, it decided last minute that it was, any, anyways, I'm getting way off topic. Um, I don't think I lose enough to merit buying, spending that money on security cameras, but the satisfaction oh, of someone going to jail because they stole a $10 item. Let me tell you. That would make me so warm inside and happy. I'll pay $3,000 for that. Obviously, I'm not going to sit there and watch all the footage. It's probably theft here and there that we don't see. But there's now been once in this sale and once in the last sale where we highly suspected theft. And, you know, it sure would be nice to be able to pull up on the camera and just call the cops and say, all right, here's a video of this person stealing and here's a video of their license plate. So that's the plan. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not going to be able to have them come in now. It's going to probably have to be after the sale's over. I'm going to have it happen after the sale. I'm going to spend the money. Don't care. Because I want someone to steal then. Just so I can do that. It would make me so happy. So warm inside. Anyways, so that is Thursday. Very depressing. Uh, rain stopped right as the sale ended. Oh, it looks like it might start raining again. Um, I think I'm calling it a day and we'll come back tomorrow. Start refilling tables again. All right, late start. It is Friday. It's about 5.30 a.m. I am tired. I was up too late last night. There's not a lot to do. Since we didn't have a lot of sales yesterday, we were able to keep tables pretty well stocked. Um, you know, little touch-ups here and there, and then I have to replace these signs. Yeah, still have three of these left. Um, I, we sold one of those. I was hoping for quite a bit more. What else? Um, didn't sell a lot of the apparel, but apparel doesn't do that well. These I'm a little surprised didn't sell. Looks like we sold a decent amount of the blue ones. I believe I had 12 of each out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I sold one white one and then six blue ones. Shower heads, not many. I think I might move those to a table. Uh, did sell a few of the blankets. I've got one fireplace grate out. Probably not the best place. Probably not a great place for it. But uh, we'll see how that works because I've got three pallets of those. Um, we did not have many people digging through these bins. In fact, the reason it looks like they're more empty is because we were pulling stuff and putting them on tables. I did go through and sort one of those pallets in the back yesterday and, uh, brought some bins out. I gotta put the toys on their own, um, over here, diapers, and then there were a few other things that I sorted, um, Five or six boxes that are specific and one that was just everything else, which weren't on tables. So, I guess we'll, we'll keep going. Um, there, I don't think there's anything that I'm going to pull today. But there are some things that I will pull at the end of today. For instance, after today, all the maternity pants, the jeans, those are getting pulled for eBay. Because like I said, we sell them for about 20 we end up with about 10 after shipping and fees. The reason I'm leaving them go through today is just because I'd rather get eight cash now, no returns, than 10 at some later date and possibly have a couple returned. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm going to start by replacing signs and go from there. Little touch-ups here and there. Nothing too crazy otherwise. Here, I've mentioned this on other videos, but I wanted to point it out now. This is something I learned when I worked at Kmart. It's my first job when I was a kid. Uh, we leave the drawers open at night. Obviously, we empty the, the cash out. But we leave them open because if someone were to break in and this was closed, um, they would either try to pry it open or just take the whole drawer. These drawers cost like 100 200 bucks. 
I'd rather not have one just get stolen. If it's open and a burglar comes in, they walk up to it, oh, there's no cash, and they move on. They, <clears throat> they don't damage that at all. Oh, rough day. So people still, we're not having a lot of traffic come in. I don't know why. It's still kind of weathery. Could be the weather. I don't know. I hate rain so much. But to make matters worse, when it rains, it pours, right? Had a roof leak in the back warehouse. Now there was a roof leak before. There was a, when I moved in, I saw there was a little water spot on the floor. I brought it to the landlord. Uh, he said he'd have a roofer go and look at it. And I just made sure not to put anything in that spot. Well, we got three inches of rain last night. There's about an inch of rain back there in certain parts, like an inch of standing water in certain areas in that warehouse. Six pallets, I'm estimating about 9,000 in cost, gone. Just drenched. So some of it's eBay pallets, some of it's pallets for the sale. So I had someone come and clear all that out, haul it to the dump, some of it, I didn't even go through it. They were drenched. Some of it probably would have still been sellable, but you know, once it gets all wet like that, you have mold and mildew that comes into play. Plus you never know what kind of dirt or grossness came off the roof with it. I'm not comfortable selling it. So I'm gonna call my insurance company next. Now, normally I'd be comfortable. You know, I've got insurance, it's no big deal. But when my trailer was stolen, they said, oh, this business equipment isn't covered with your business equipment. So they wouldn't pay out. Thankfully, if you weren't following that video, uh, my trailer was stolen. Uh, it was recovered. Law enforcement found it and uh, I got it back. No damage or anything. The contents were gone, but it was, you know, not much. Uh, nothing I'm concerned about. So we'll see if my insurance company will cover this. And it's not some little podunk, no-name insurance company. It's Allstate. Big insurance company. Probably one of the top five largest insurance companies in the country, I would assume. But um, if they don't cover this, I'll definitely be looking at new agents. And obviously, the landlord didn't fix the roof. Now, I have yet to sign a lease there. We're still working on the paperwork and negotiating, despite the fact that I've been using it. I've not signed a lease yet. So that will get fixed. I, I texted the landlord and it's the same landlord I've been with for five years. It's you know in the same building. I texted him, I said, hey, when are you gonna be here? He said, about 11 o'clock. So it's about an hour from now. It was, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half ago that I messaged him. So we'll, uh, we'll have a talk when he gets here. So the day's getting a little bit better. It's picking up. We're at 4,300, it's about one o'clock. If you're wondering why I'm always out here when I'm talking, because we have music playing in there during the sale. And, well, I don't want to have... I've heard of people getting copyright strikes just from being in a store and the background music playing. That's why when I'm in a store and can't avoid the background music, my clips are very short and sporadic. So the music is not constant. Anyways, and it's cold out. So I'm sitting in the truck on the heated seats while I talk. So we've got a roofer coming Sunday. It's also supposed to snow on Sunday. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I'm gonna put some buckets in there. Um, maybe it'll help isolate the location. I'm not obviously not gonna have any merchandise there, but if we can isolate the location, that would help out um, as far as the leaks. Sales are picking up when I say 43, 45. Hold on, let me pull it back up. 4,352. So uh, we're almost to yesterday's sales at a lower dollar amount and uh, you know, three hours to go. So better, still not great. I mean, realistically, I was hoping for between ten and twenty thousand dollars both today and yesterday each. That didn't happen. Far from it. Uh, hopefully, things pick up. You know, tomorrow's supposed to be reasonably nice weather, mid thirties, but sunny, uh, which, believe it or not, is nice weather here. And we've had, you know, our busiest days have come on snow days. So it's the rain that people don't like. So there's that. All right, so it picked up a little bit. Uh, we replaced the pallets with these at about two o'clock or so. And then I put the shower heads on the end. Uh, what else? This is it for the rugs. We restocked a whole bunch of those. That's all we've got left. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. 
A lot of toys still left. These still left. And I've yet to bring any more of those out. Um, blankets. So this is it for the ones that are in packages. We've got about a pallet's worth that are loose like that that we'll probably start selling after those sell out. Still have not sold a single light fixture. I don't understand that. I organized this a little bit, cleared some space. That's pretty much it. Knowing about the mannequin, I started bringing out some Office Depot stuff like half an hour ago. Nothing else to really report. So we are going to pull all the maternity pants, just the jeans. These ones, yeah, we'll let them go, we'll sell them. I'm gonna pull the jeans. I think that might be all that I'm gonna pull. Unless there's, you know, some random couple things here and there. But that's, uh, these shouldn't have a rubber band on them. Someone's gonna think it's one item. there there we go uh what else i think that is pretty much everything worth note uh let's get the grand total for the day grand total is 6104 so we did do better than yesterday still significantly less than i would have wanted to uh ignore that that is well that might actually be the correct total um I know we use this for other sales and there was one that was close that might be in there. Um, you can see like last week, 500 in sales. That was when we sold a pallet. The noteworthy thing here is weighted blankets here. 2,052, my cost on them was 2,900. Probably gonna make a little money, not much, but it definitely brought a lot of people in. So I think I'm gonna head out in a minute. Um, got to do a bank run. I don't want to forget this over here. I have to take that, haul it to the bank, put the uh, small bills in the safe, or a little bit more. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. Where is it? We got a camera up now, and that is a working camera. So that uh, will help if there's any issues. You don't see that well, but we can see basic enough things like the lady with the coat, if she came in with that color coat. Um, so anyways, for security, the money is very secure. First off, it's in a safe that came out of a big box store, came out of Office Depot, where they probably had, you know, a couple hundred grand stored in that safe at some point. And that safe is in a room that has a steel door with a steel frame, very well built and locked, of course. And to get to that room, you have to go through another room that has a steel door with a steel frame. And, oh, and you have to pull the door open so you're not kicking that door in at all, unless you're taking the whole frame off. You would need to pretty much drive a truck through it to get to the money. Even so, I'm not out much if we do get robbed and they clean us out. You know, all the big bills, they leave with me. And I already did a bank drop. I've got 150 bucks and I don't know, maybe another three, 420 twenties. And then maybe like a thousand bucks here, if that in change and bills, not a lot. So I'm not missing on them too much. So anyways, day got better. Hopefully tomorrow's a really good day. And then Sunday, we're supposed to get snow. Also, tomorrow, we're going to be a little shorter staffed. Eli, the kid that worked the last sale, is coming in. He's, he's only able to work weekends now because school started. Um, and Justin and Holly both have tomorrow off. And then we're going to be all hands on deck on Sunday. So, anyways. Touch base tomorrow, I guess. I, I really don't have anything else to say. This is going to be a really boring video. And 90% of it is going to be me talking. I see. So, I don't know if I showed that. There's a couple of those. There's another one. I'm so bad at pointing. There we go. Uh, 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 almost. Uh, uh, there it is. That. I just noticed that wasn't there before. So, anyways, that's about all I've got. This might be one of my worst videos ever. Another rushed morning. It's 10 minutes to 7, so I have to do my video pretty quick. 
but I'll show you what I added and what the tables look like. I uh, found one more of these. These should have gone out a while ago, but only one. We'll just let it sell. Someone will get a good deal. Uh, what else? Put some more toys out. These, I'm really surprised, aren't selling. They're like 35 bucks on Amazon. Um, I had one Amazon seller buy like 10 of them. That's it. What else? Oh, over here. I put these out last night or yesterday, right before, uh, like an hour before we closed. Plates. These, someone bought, two, these went out late yesterday and someone bought two of them. So those probably should have gone out sooner. I was planning on putting these out on $5 a day. Today is six. We'll see how they do. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of them. Uh, I moved these to the front a little bit. They retail 15 and we haven't sold one yet. Umbrellas, some other odds and ends. I don't know if I showed you this. I don't remember. Uh, but yesterday we removed those pallets. Well, we put the contents on the table and put apparel out. We've got some decent stuff in here. Uh, mostly kids stuff. This, I think, is adult sizes. And it's got a cape. I almost want to wear that to the gym because it's got a cape. Uh, move the shower heads up on here. And what else? I think that's about it. I organized these tables last night. Just kind of shifting stuff over. And then added this stuff. This looks nice. Here. Uh, I've got a bunch of these, so we'll see how they do now. Some other odds and ends, Dollar General stuff. I believe this is from Walgreens um, that I just put out. And that's pretty much it. This is the last of the weighted blankets that are in the package. Uh, once these are gone, all that's left are the loose ones. And of course, you know, no one's buying the loose ones because I don't blame them. If it were me, I can get one in the package or without the package same price, which one am I going to get? But um, these will probably start selling pretty fast once those are gone. I expect these to be gone pretty quick, probably. I would assume probably in the first hour, we'll just be down to a few. Um, still have not sold a single light fixture. I just, I don't understand that. We've got a back stock of clothing, all of this stuff. There's some out already. It's you know, some of them different sizes. You can see medium, Never mind, that's all mediums. You got small, couple mediums and large, small, medium. Okay, this is a bad example. There were some that had multiple different sizes. Extra small, small, medium. So anyways, that's where we're at. We've got some more back stock here of stuff that we have out. I'm just trying not to overload it too much. Um, that's pretty much it. One thing that's nice is is not an absolute disaster back here. I expect all of this to go out today. And I expect all of this to go out today. And the loading dock isn't too bad either. So as far as weather, I've got a message from someone. Where are you located? It's all over the Facebook page and every single post. So here is the weather. You like that home button? My home button stopped working a couple months ago. I'm too lazy to get a new phone. Um, snow tomorrow, but today should be pretty nice. 38 cloudy. Um, and then snow tomorrow, but no more precipitation the rest of the sale. So that means I think we're going to see a huge uptick in traffic. It's, it sucks that the first two days we had rain, but there's not much. You can't really control the weather and we have to plan the dates at the, at bare minimum two weeks in advance just to A, have time to get ready, and B, advertising and print going out. Um, you know, it's not something that we can do last second. So, can't really plan the weather. Uh, we did change the date once. This was before I had professionally printed flyers. It was the February sale. We got, uh, we were planning on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Thursday through Sunday the following week. I wasn't doing Wednesdays. Um, and we got just hammered with snow on a Sunday. So we decided to reschedule our Sunday sale to Wednesday. You might remember that video. There's a video of it. Uh, but it was our February 20... Was it this year? Yeah, 2020. Wow, this year went by fast. It's the sale. 
where I said, there's so many people here, we need a new plague. And then COVID happened like two weeks later. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take credit for that one. I think I, I, think I uh, started that. Uh, anyways, where, where was I going with that? Oh, there is not enough people here. We need a vaccine for the plague. Eh, it's going to work this time. It worked last time. Um, so that's basically where we're at. I have to get carts out. I still haven't put signs up with the day's price. I need to do that. And then we're pretty much ready to go. I had I had a point that I was going to... Oh, anyway, so we rescheduled the day, and it actually worked out pretty well. So, I mean, worst case, if we had to reschedule... I'm not going to reschedule for rain or even a little bit of snow. I don't think we're going to get bombarded with snow, although they did get eight inches of snow the other day, a couple hours west of here. Um, if it's an absolute blizzard where it's unsafe to drive and schools are closing, it's going to be tough to judge since no one's going to school right now, but then we would reschedule. But beyond that, we're not rescheduling. We just have to deal with the rain, even if it costs us tens of thousands of dollars. It's not fun. Yeah, we are full. We hit capacity as soon as we open. I think it was definitely a weather thing. Now it's also Saturday, it's a weekend. Historically, Thursday has always been our best day though. So it's tough to say. I mean, Saturday, obviously probably a big factor for anyone who works regular hours, but the weather I think is the big deciding factor here. It's much nicer out. So I'm putting these out. These are the six packs. I thought six would be overpriced. I was hesitant to put them out on five. You can see they're out five, six, but I was iffy about that. I put two out just to test it. They sold right away. So we're gonna put the rest of these out. So we're definitely gonna break even on the way to blankets. It is 1121. We're not even halfway through the day yet. We're at 2,724 total throughout the entire sale on weighted blankets. My cost was 2,900. So I'm about 200 bucks away. The loose ones are moving really fast. We've got, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 blankets left in the back and then the shelves are full inside. Um, and then I did hold back 15 of them to sell with you know local consignment stores and auctions and whatnot. That should bring me at minimum around 200 or 300. That'll be 20 bucks each. Um, so that is where we are on weighted blankets. Let's pull up total sales we want today. Uh, of course, it's not. This, I have square here. It's not very good on the phone. All right, let's go home. Home page. I'm not driving home. Uh, it's loading. It's loading. $5,279.96. So following this trend, we definitely should break 10 grand today. We are all we have already exceeded day one sales and we are 40% cheaper. We are, I think I did like 6,500-ish yesterday. So we're on track. We will beat yesterday's sales too. We might on the third day beat both the first two days combined, which was somewhere around 10 grand. So today is definitely a good day. That's what Ice Cube says, it was a good day. So we're pretty clear it out. Sold a few light fixtures today. Sounds like someone's trying to get in. Uh, oh well, we're closed. Uh, we are pretty much down to just Walgreens toys with some exceptions. Uh, we got a little more of the strollers here. Looks like we sold a good deal of the toner. Oh, gloves sold out. Uh, we did sell out of weighted blankets. This was over here with weighted blankets in it. Now I filled it up with other stuff. <coughs> I had someone buy two cases of this, and I knew I had a third one in the back. I ended up finding it a couple hours after he had left. Finally sold some of the gallons of hand sanitizer. These, I sold 17 of them. Very surprised. Uh, probably would have sold them all, but I found the last box later in the sale. I didn't realize I had an extra one. I can't believe these are still here. That really surprises me. Oh, uh, what else? We got some base layers. Wow. Some of these are really emptying out. 
we need to keep a closer eye on things like this. I'm mostly just looking at empty table space when I'm when I'm loading stuff out here. But um, I'll definitely have my work cut out for me tomorrow morning. I might organize a little bit here. Over here, we still have some of these. We've got a whole bunch of those. Looks like we sold a few of those pillows. Um, starting to pull more stuff from Staples. This candy, oh, I'm so angry at myself. This is selling like crazy. We sold out at some point yesterday at uh, eight bucks. Don't remember when. It's about halfway through the day today when I realized we don't have any out. I forgot I even had any. Apparel moving all right. A few hundred dollars worth. I think like four or five hundred bucks total in apparel sold today. So that's basically where we're at. You can see we changed this back to being bins. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me show you what we did today. Total sales today, 10,223. It's about $500 shy of Thursday and Friday's totals combined. Uh, let's see, 181 weighted blankets sold. We moved quite a bit of those. I'm curious, on the weighted blankets, there's supposed to be 420 of them. Where are we? 417, actually, that was pretty accurate. Because remember, I saved 15 of them. Um, I paid 2,900, sold them all for 3,138. So. I made a couple hundred bucks. I'll probably make about 500 total once I sell the 15 that I kept. Not a great investment, but I guarantee you that brought so many people, a ton of people on the sale and probably generated more profit from that. We sold 13 light fixtures today for 78 bucks. This is the whole week, but um, I think today was when they first started selling. We're only 13 for 78, 72 pieces of apparel today for 432. It was a solid day. Um, and that puts our sale total at almost 21,000. Oh, uncategorized, where is the uh, total? Total collected, that includes sales tax. There we go, total sales, $20,932.97. Heck of a sale so far, or heck of a day, I should say. We've got one more day for this video. Tomorrow is gonna be a $5 day, and then this video will come to an end. We take two days off and then we've got another five days next week to close out this sale. So, uh, well, I'm going home, maybe. I don't know. I always say I'm going home then end up doing stuff. So it's 8 p.m. Let's see, that puts me here almost 16 hours. I'm about to go home, finish up in the morning. I will be back at about 4 a.m., but you can see I cleared this out and then I cleared that out and got all these shoes up on a table. Let me show you why I did that. We have clothes racks up. So I, all of this, or I should say most of this was in the back. A little bit was hanging up in here before, but most of this is fresh. Um, most of it's from Target. This is sorted by size. And then it's all ladies' clothes. This rack is all we have for men's clothes. And then this is all ladies' pants. And then the end is uh, the ladies' clothes. Well, let me rephrase that because there are pants with the other ones. It's just items that are size small, medium, large, XL, 2X, 3X are here. And then from here here maybe here forward i haven't put the tag i haven't put these up for the numbered sizes uh these are the numbered sizes now all of these this is back stock this is we've got a ton of this exact same item already out i'm not going to put any more out the only exception are these because they're seven dollars retail they're not going to sell for five um so all of that is done now the kids clothes I did finally pull these. These are going in the eBay area. Tim's going to list them. The kids' clothes are over here. I added some over here and then took some of the adult sizes and moved them over there. But um, these are not sorted yet. I do plan on having them sorted by the sale. These fart class is um, like teens. 
So I guess I'll keep it with the kids' clothes. I, I'm in debate. Uh, leave a comment below. Obviously, it's going to be too late for this sale, but this type of teen stuff, would this be better suited with the kids' clothes or the adult clothes? There's not enough space and not enough quantity to separate, to make them their own category. Uh, but anyways, that's what I did. Now along this wall, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Maybe some bins, maybe some tables. Who knows? I did put this one here. Additionally, back here, I added two tables where the light fixtures were. I figured the lights, they're not going to make me as much money as tables will. So I pulled those and put them on the bottom shelf. Bottom shelf doesn't get a lot of sales because it's mostly the junk that I put down there. So I put the light fixtures down there and it looks a lot nicer that way too. So that's everything I've done so far. And then I shifted all the toys over here that were where the clothes racks are now. I think I'm ready to go. Anybody who came in today and then will come in again tomorrow is gonna to be very surprised at how much it's changed. Although if we planned ahead, it wouldn't have been a lot of work. We could have had these already put together sitting in the back and the clothes already sorted and on hangers. It wouldn't have taken long. Um, interesting thing with these. So these, this is a clothes rack and this is a clothes rack. This middle section is just a bar that attaches to the two very poorly. If there's no clothes on it, this falls off very easily. The weight of the clothes keeps it on, but it'd be nice if there's something that wrapped around. Anyways, um, so keep that in mind when you're buying fixtures, when you're buying these racks. If they have these, you don't need nearly as many. And these are like 20 bucks per set on Uline, if I remember right. I did buy these new. The racks, I bought some new. Most of them I got out of Shopco. So, you know, keep that in mind. You can cut your racks needed down quite a bit. A lot less storage space if you're taking them down like I am. And a lot less cost um by quite a bit so these i need to get tags on tags like these i didn't have all the sizes so i had to make some and then uh and then organize the kids clothes and the clothes will be done worth note i got all of these for free out of jimboree so it's mostly kids sizes and they're finally actually gonna come in handy but um there is the small medium and large and in the last sale when i was doing a lot of the pants I had to, I did like this, where I put a white label over it and just hand wrote it. It's not that big of a deal, but I think these are gonna perform a lot better. I do still have, so I've got at least one of everything out here, with the exception of the stuff that is, there's, we got one pile of clothes in the back. It's the stuff that is not pre-hung. Look how nice and neat this is, all pre-hung. The ones that aren't pre-hung are gonna look not so nice and need a lot of this and then this and then maybe some of this and it looks so uniform when it's all the same type of hangers a lot of people wonder why i invested so much money in hangers granted i bought these ones but um that's why it just it makes the clothing look nicer even if it's uh subconsciously someone looks at it and thinks it looks nicer without even realizing that it naturally makes it look nicer i need to uh separate this stuff a little bit oh no this space in there anyways the other thing don't overfill the racks leave space where people can do this when they're going through it some of these like this one might be a little overfilled eh, maybe not yeah that one's fine what about this one? That's doable. So none of them are actually overfilled. I expected one of them to be, and then we just readjust once we have them all hanging up. So anyways, I am going home now. It is 7.48. I'm exhausted. Time to go home. I'm going to be back here in, what, eight hours? Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, eight hours I'm going to be waking up from right now. So I should probably leave. I should probably go to bed. But I have to set up the set. I should probably go to bed. Aren't I a good singer and songwriter? I know there's a guy on the radio who sings that about the about going to bed and the warehouse sale and everything. Mine's better.
All right, it is 6 a.m. I have to rush this morning. It's 6.09, I just got here. I woke up feeling like crap. I'm not staying up late like this during a sale again. I went to bed at 9 p.m., which is already pretty late considering how early I get up. <coughs> Oof. I have a splitting headache, and that started yesterday about midday. Um, I keep coughing. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's not COVID. I, this happens to me during every sale. I'm so overworked and to get so little sleep, I start to get sick every single warehouse sale. So um, I'm not even the least bit worried that it's, you know, something serious. I can breathe fine, but I am coughing here and there. I need to fill up these tables. Uh, what else? My legs are so sore. My right leg feels like it's cramping up every time I take a step. That's just because I was on my feet so much yesterday. And uh, I'm sure lifting all those weighted blankets probably were, is a factor. The worst thing, the weirdest thing, this never happens during a sale. I woke up with extreme chills. I thought maybe the heater shut off or something in my house last night because I was freezing. I looked at the thermostat, it said it was 70. That's starting to go away. I sat in the truck for a little bit, heated seats. A heated steering wheel, heat on full blast, and it is starting to go away. Probably should have taken a shower this morning or just sat in the hot water. That probably would have helped it, but um, I didn't do that. So here's what I need to do. I need to do the most important stuff first, the stuff that, you know, for instance, I wanted to organize these clothes, but that's not a priority. We can open if the clothes aren't organized. We cannot open if we've got this crap all over the floor. And this all over the floor and empty tables. So that's what I need to do first. Clear off the floor, fill up the tables, and then I can do the uh, extra things like sorting the kids' clothes, getting a couple of tables up along here, stuff like that. Signs need to come down. I can always put them up after I do my video. I do my video at 7. Um, so I need to have this place, for the most part, ready to go by 7. I can change prices in the cash register after that. I can, I'd like to bring carts outside soon before that because, well, for one, it doesn't look as good in the video when there's a row of carts here. But also, I don't like doing it when there's people waiting outside. And usually by 7, there's people waiting outside. So anyways, that's, that's the plan. So I've got the space cleared out, putting some extra boxes up. And um, I got another table up over here. I'm feeling a lot better. Unfortunately, we've got 15 minutes until I have to do the video. So that's gonna suck. All right, it is 725. I feel so much better. Uh, headaches basically gone. Legs feel fine. I'm not cold anymore. I'm ready to go. I still have a lot to do though. So I have to go get some breakfast. Heading to Mackey's because I've already eaten probably about 3,000 calories worth of candy. If I don't eat some real food, I'm going to make myself sick. So that's what we're doing. And before you say McDonald's isn't real food, it is. It's delicious. It's the best. So the Packer game is on today, and I spent the last two hours trying to figure out how to do this. You still can't see it that well. We had this one. It's an older one. It doesn't have an HDMI input. And we tried running it off of this computer and it took up the entire wall. It was so cool, but you could barely see it. It was so light. I got a different projector up there. It was working a little bit better. You can see it better, but it's obviously much smaller. And it's up there now. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but it's snowing out. Nice big chunky flakes too. I don't know how much, how well you can see that. October 25th, came late this year. So the sale just finished up. Uh, I'm just gonna show you what we brought in, 74.55, which isn't bad considering we were competing with the Packer game. Um, so that's about it. I will come in tomorrow and show you what the tables look like and recap this and everything before I close out this video. It's about 1 p.m. Monday. I decided to uh, take it easy today. Um, I want to get this organized better. I noticed towards the end of the day, we had a few people walking out without buying anything. 
I want to organize this a little bit better and try to uh, encourage sales on Wednesday when we open. Uh, these went out yesterday. They came on the Office Depot, or I'm sorry, the Staples load. 24 markers. I think these were intended to be sold individually. We're selling them as a pack. What else? We sold a lot of light fixtures yesterday. That's finally picking back up. We refilled the bottom here with more. This is everything from those three pallets in the dock. I do have two pallets left uh, that need to go out. But we refilled at the end of the day yesterday. So. so just going through here, it's just such a mess. Something is leaking in this box, so I need to do something about that. It's just such a mess, though. Uh, this this could definitely be cleaned up and organized a lot better. So my plan today and tomorrow, I don't plan on sticking around too much today, a couple of hours. Uh, tomorrow, um, we're going to completely redo this, um, try and make it more organized, a little bit nicer, not as much as, you know, I mean, this really looks like a pile. Additionally, the back can get organized a little bit. All of these pallets on the floor can go. We've got two pallets of cardboard here. That's empty. That can go. That's just about empty. That can get put in a box and organized. Get out of here. This is shower heads. We're done selling those. We can pull those, with the exception of the snack packs there in the Dum Dums box. Uh, some of the stuff on these shelves could probably get pulled and shoved to the back too to make some space, and then we can load product back in here. The dock doesn't look too bad. It's mostly empty Gaylords and cardboard. Um, boy, I got my work cut out for me cleaning that floor. Tim made a mess when he was sorting, it looks like. Maybe I'll make him do it. Uh, but, you, know, you can see cardboard. One of these is just cardboard. That's not too bad. The light fixtures are gone, which makes me happy. So that is basically the plan the next two days. You're going to see that in the next video, though. So that was the first four days of the sale. We did, what, somewhere around 30 grand. I expect the next five to duplicate that. I don't think it's going to beat my last sale. We're going to end the streak of improving every time. But, you know, we had some issues in the beginning, like the rain and then the Packer game and stuff like that slowed us down a bit. I think we'll do well, though. It is Tuesday, and we are resetting the sale. Obviously, this isn't the sale, but you can see we've, we're clearing out the back. And then moving front, we've got a much more organized area. These are all kind of sorted a little bit better. We've got some that are just a mix. We've got lady stuff, we've got like vitamins and supplements and what on, more lady stuff, more vitamins, electronics, so on and so forth. So I've pretty much gone through and organized all of it except for that. That's what I'm working on now. And then with whatever space I have, I'm going to refill the tables. I did pull all of the toys just so I had some open tables and I reset them here. Front and center when you walk in. I need to do under the tables as well. All right, we are all ready to go for tomorrow. I even got the signs put up. All I need to do, here's the plan for tomorrow. I'm coming in at about 645, 650. I'm going to bring those carts outside. Then I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to do the ad, 7 o'clock. I'm going to do the video. And then after the video's done, it'll be about quarter after 7. I'm going to put money in the registers, uh, final touches, and get ready to open. So I'll show you what we've got set up. This is here, it's in the way, hopefully it sells fast. We've got a lot of Office Depot up here as well as down there. Uh, this is actually from Staples. Uh, that's from the Office Depot that we cleared out last year. We still have a little bit left from that. This is it for the bed sheets. We didn't have a lot to start out with. Um, odds and ends on here. I really didn't do much with that. Oh, I gotta fix that. Change that to four. Um, I really didn't do a whole lot back here. I put these out. I moved this over here. I put this out. And then all the printer ink that I'm finding, I'm putting in a box here next to the toner. Um, over here, didn't really do too much. Just added some of the apparel that was on other tables. 
And then there's a box of just jumbled mismatched stuff I put there. Over here, this is where the big changes are taking place. Some of this just actually, everything from here over, except for the speakers just went out today. Boxes are organized. We've got these bibs, lunch containers. This is all electronics. Um, that should be in there. Health and beauty products, lady products, health and beauty products, lady products. And this is kind of the everything else box, general merchandise. Uh, neck pillows, mugs. Didn't do too much on the floor, but I did bring that box out and I brought these out. Over here, I made the executive decision. All liquids in a bottle are not going in the bin. They're going to be stood up like this. Just because I had cleared out two bins yesterday that were leaky and full of liquid. A lot of product got thrown away. And I guarantee you, it was probably like that for a while. The second someone's like, oh, I'm not, yeah, I'm going to skip everything in that bin. Or they see the, uh, and they decide not to look in any of the bins. It could cost money that way. This way, we don't need to worry about it. These I thought were pretty cool. They came from the staples load. It's in a bottle provided by Dawn. This is not for sale, emergency response. I mean, it came on a staples load, so we're selling it, but... I'm wondering how many people are going to complain that we're selling that. We can't control what they send us. Uh, what else? Another everything else box. Health and beauty products. Everything else. Lady products. Uh, more stuff here. Some of this actually came from the back room at Office Max when they closed. Um, in fact, all no, nah, this might have been from Staples. Uh, hardware type products. We've got these. I, this is half of the case. There's quite a bit more here. I found these on Dollar Day on the last sale. We forgot to put them out early, so I decided to save them for this sale. And I almost forgot about them. I probably could have put them out a couple days ago. But anyways, they're still good until April or March. Um, those, I would imagine, will go pretty fast. We've got some hand sanitizing wipes. No idea what retail is, but for Dollar Day, I think they're worth putting out. Other odds and ends. Here are all of these stashers. Over here, these have been sitting for probably a year on a shelf. I completely forgot they were here. I was going to sell them to an aquarium store. Well, now we're doing more warehouse sales. We can just sell them here. We'll see how they do. Pop sockets. We sold so many of these on $5 a day. I could not believe it. Usually I put these $1, maybe $2. Apparently, they have a demand. I can't believe how expensive these are or how much people are spending on them. So anyways, we put a bunch more out. I've got probably another thousand of those. Uh, other Ozans could probably put a little bit more in here. These came out of Gordman's. Got some other stuff here. Um, all of this was kind of reset today. More odds and ends. This is another everything box, another HBA box. And then all the toys ended up up here. There was no strategy behind putting the toys in the front. It was just the last tables that I had finished up because I started over there and worked my way this way. And since the toys were in carts, those had to go here. Over here, pretty much the same as it was before. Um, this is another everything box. And then we've got cosmetics. Uh, some of this is pretty good stuff that probably should have been out sooner. But I'm sick of it being on the shelf. You know, some of those shelves are just items that have been buried and forgotten about. I'm trying to get rid of as much of it as possible because I'm sick of storing it. But I think this is going to draw some people in. I mean, some of this, that's 12, so at 4 isn't a crazy deal. But a lot of these are 24. I think they'll do pretty well. Purses. I don't know why these things aren't selling, but we're not putting any more out. I'm not sure we've sold a single one so far. I'm thinking possibly after tomorrow, I might even pull these from the floor. Light fixtures. I really didn't do much of this. I just brought some of the food over here that uh, was in a different area. Um, clothing, I have not touched clothing. The kids' clothes actually look pretty good. The uh, adult sizes, I'm gonna need to go through tomorrow morning a little bit. Just fix hangers and pick up the ones that had fallen. Over here, I organized the bins a little bit. Not a terrible, terribly high amount. A terribly lot, a terrible lot. I don't know how to talk today, apparently. Um, and that's basically it. So we are all ready to go. I'll show you the back. And then I'm going to go home. So we had this area completely emptied out. It was nice. And then we filled it right back up again. This is from Walgreens. 
Uh, it was intended for three dollar day so we'll dig through this i'm sure we'll find some odds and ends that can go out this is the last time tim will ever sort them in gaylords like this so much easier in boxes um but anyways and he was insistent that gaylords would be easier it's not it's the opposite of that we cleared off these back walls pretty good those are those boxes are dollar day those are empty bottom one's emptied off except for that stuff there um let's see this is a two dollar pallet this is gordman's and then some other odds and ends i tossed in bringing it up here i love these bins so much oh i don't know if i can do this with one hand oh well well that flips down so you can get into it this was a four dollar pallet this is all that's left the rest of it i put out only a little bit of office depot left um this is all for bag day it's what's left of that office depot from a little over a year well actually this is cosmetics for bag day shop goes stuff and then this is the office depot i know what you're thinking you could fit a ton of those in a bag and you know what you can but still not going to sell out i guarantee you there'll be some of those left same with this i just want it gone i'm cutting my losses on it not really losses because i've already made plenty of profit on it but uh, i don't need to sit there and scrounge out the last few pennies. I want it gone. I want this place cleared out. This is apparel. I'm going to have somebody, probably Eli, hanging this tomorrow uh, so we can refill the apparel with that. And then some of that's holdbacks, some of it's stuff for Dollar Day. It all varies. Uh, and then we've got a few items over here, but pretty reasonable. Down here in the dock, we've got the last two pallets of lighting, light fixtures on the end, uh, and then some other pallets for later days we've got these things we're gonna have a million of them left well not a million there's not many there but they're probably be left for dollar day so that is what we're looking at so i am heading home and uh we'll start tomorrow four dollar day so i'm at home you might see the sun's out and when the sun's out that means i should be at work right now doing the sale i'm trying to carefully angle my camera so you don't see how messy this place is just below the the screen anyways um so a couple days ago i started feeling a little sick nothing serious stuffed up nose a little congested happens every year around this time and it happens during every warehouse sale i overwork myself until i start to feel sick no big deal well yesterday it started getting pretty bad like to the point where I was having trouble breathing. I didn't, I figured it was just from, you know, congestion. So I decided to go home with everything going on right now. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Probably could have, not probably, I could have stayed at work, but given what's going on now, that changes my outlook on whether or not I'm gonna stay at work. So I didn't, I went home. Um, it got worse well, over throughout the evening. So I went and got a COVID test still waiting on the results for that um i got the rapid test they uh took a needle and the nurse tried to carve her initials in my brain let me tell you something if you're congested and can't breathe through your nose get a covid test it's only gonna do one nostril but it cleared that thing right out um so anyways i am home today <clears throat> i had to go in this morning there's nobody there i went in before any employees came in just to get situated because if it is a positive i'm gonna be i'm not gonna be there for the rest of the sale so i went in i printed all the signage they need um did stuff like that and then i did the video this morning because it was kind of short notice here on forward uh one of my employees will be coming in a little earlier and doing basically my job doing the video and everything if it's positive if it's negative you know I feel, I feel much better right now because I took a Sudafed last night. Oh man, I can see why people get into drugs. I felt like Skinny Pete going to buy it too. It was weird. Give your ID, your blood test, sign your life away, cavity search. Anyways, um, if it's a negative test, if I don't have COVID, I'm going back in, even if I'm sick because it's not COVID and it's probably just a cold. However, that was kind of my outlook until after I got home from my COVID test, I found out that I was in direct contact with somebody who had COVID about 10 days ago, or with somebody about 10 days ago who now knows they have COVID. 
So that's um, a little more concerning. So as of now, we're just kind of playing it by ear. Uh, I am so bored and it's only 8.14. Um, oh, crap. We forgot to pull the Van Gogh napkins from eBay. We sold them all in the last sale. Anyways, um, <clears throat> fun fact. I just switch arms. This one's getting tired. Fun fact, my other half, uh, her job is still making her work. She told them that both her and I had direct contact with someone who was positive. It was at a wedding. We all danced together. We all were close. Um, direct contact with someone. My hair is all over the place this morning. Uh, oh, she also said that I'm showing symptoms and we live together. They're still making her work. They said, well, you can get tested if that would make you feel more comfortable, but while you wait for the results, you still have to work. This is, this is direct from the HR department of her company. Big company, local company. It's just a local company and they are huge in the area. I'm not gonna say who they are, but it's amazing seeing how they handle things. Apparently she said every day, a new employee uh, finds out they have COVID. So I could have got it from there too. One thing about this virus that is positive, I guess, is we can really start to see the true colors of people who, uh, or people and businesses in the area, how they handle things. That's really, really bizarre that she lives with someone who has symptoms and both of us were in direct contact with somebody who has symptom or who has a positive and they still won't let her leave. She still needs to work. Those of you who follow the channel know that I'm a huge Cam Newton fan. And uh, now I know how he feels sitting on the sidelines, watching from home. I do have the security cameras up so I can watch from home. Uh, can't get in the game, but I wanna get in the game. So hopefully I don't go and lay a goose egg after it's all, uh, you know, cured and healed and better and everything because uh, that's what Cam Newton did. Wasn't happy about that. Well, I've got the test results back and I do have COVID. So um, I guess that's pretty much where we end the video. Not much else to show you. I'll jump in at the end and show you what the uh, final total was or will be for the day. And that's pretty much it because I'm stuck here. Not really much else to see. So I'm at the warehouse. They're out of quarters. So I left a bag of quarters. I, I can't point with this camera. Next to the door, you can kind of see it down there. And then Tim is gonna come out and grab those and leave uh, a couple of things for me, an envelope and a stamp. I'm gonna have paychecks mailed to me that I'm gonna sign them, that I'm gonna mail them out to staff. So he's leaving some envelopes and stamps out for me and uh, some cash the big bills and stuff that we don't want to just leave here. And I'm going to take that at home. This is about the best we can do with non-contact. The quarters are from my change bucket at home. so I don't need to go to the bank. Uh, I counted them out. Hand sanitizer before and while counting. Disinfected the surface that I was using and wore a mask while I was counting them. So hopefully I didn't leave that virus on those, quor on those quarters. <laughs> 